Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I DIY'd Kiss Press-Ons for my graduation photo shoot pictures. Everything that I'm gonna use will be in my Amazon storefront, so that'll be in the description box below. So let's get started. Personally, these are my favorite Kiss Press-On nails to use because they're easy to polish over and they look so natural that I could just leave it as it is but the first thing i did was to pick out nails that fit my cuticles from sidewalk to sidewalk so that it looks like i got them done in a salon and that i didn't do them at home but if they do end up not fitting you can always follow them from the side to side so that they fit perfectly but in this case these fit perfectly so i didn't really need to do much filing on the sides just on the tops so i was debating if i wanted to do um, a design on them so i had originally put them on a nail stand so in case um i needed to do that it would be easier for me but um <laughs> i was talking in the clips so that's why my hands are moving like this but as you'll see in the next clips i just decided to glue one hand on and then style the other hand on the actual nail stand just in case i messed up or just wanted to experiment but now I'm bringing out my drill that I got as a gift and honestly thankful for it because it's honestly been a lifesaver. So this is the drill that I use for this specific um, part of doing my nails. Um, you can't really see, most of these clips are kind of blurry, I'm so sorry. But I was basically trying to show you guys that this drill has settings whether you want it to go forward, back, and then it also has a setting for the speed. But right now I'm basically drilling down my nails and then I'm also going to drill down um, the press on nails so that it basically creates a grip on both sides when I want to glue it. And then that also creates longevity for the nails. But if you were like me and couldn't really afford a nail drill right now, then my alternative was basically to use a nail file. And I'm basically just explaining that um, you can either buy one um, or you can use the nail file that comes in the Kiss packs. It's like the blue one and it's really small. So basically I would use the nail file and it would act as like the nail drill for me. And I would just file down my real nail so that I could get a grip on it. And then I would do the same thing on the Kiss press on and this would basically give the, give the same effect not totally the same but at least I was able to found down my nails and like still get some type of grip so when in doubt just use what you have <laughs> I don't know if that's a saying but yeah <laughs> once you're all done with that that's when you can get an alcohol wipe and then just wipe off all the excess dust so for me when it comes to securing my nails um, I don't find that the nail glue or the, the Gelex nail glue works best for me. So until I'm able to master that, I just use the glue that comes in the packs because um, those honestly do last for me and um, they don't really give me too many problems. A key step that I've learned to do when putting on my nails is to make sure that I'm going under my nail bed so that it creates the illusion that I got them done at a salon. So because I forgot to show this step, um, let me just explain it right now. So um, before you actually glue on your nails, um, I like to push my cuticles back. I'm so sorry that it's blurry, but um, I honestly do like the wooden tool that they give you in the Kiss packets. Um, I do have a metal one, but I just like the wooden one a lot better. I don't know why. But yeah, so that is a very important step, um, pushing your cuticles back. And so that when you install it, it can go right under it and it gives the illusion of I got it done at the salon. So that's basically what I'm doing now. Um, I just hold it on um, and make sure it's not crooked because <laughs> at the end you'll see that I kind of had that problem. Um, and that you're putting the right amount so that it sticks the first time and then and that you don't have to apply it the second time like I did. So this is what my left hand looked like right after I was done gluing everything. So I just wanted to show you guys how it looked right before I started filing them. So I wanted a square shape um, and it already is in that shape, but um, for some reason with press-ons, they have that little piece at the top that you just have to file down. <laughs> so that's basically what I'm doing right now. And then I just filed it a little bit more so it was straight and it gave a box 
square type of feel for my nails. And if I'm being honest, if it wasn't for me just trying to experiment new colors, I honestly would have left it this color and just put like a clear coat over it. But I did it and you guys will see that in the next clip. So when it comes to picking a color, I'm usually not that indecisive, but because I was just going from the dome and I didn't really have a design, um, this was definitely way harder for me to pick. But I did pick from the Beatles Peace and Love set. And then I also did pick from this pink set of shades that I had. Um, I picked out my favorites and then I put each one on my fingers to see the difference and ended up going with the Beatles Peace and Love B399 shade as my base. So this is how they turn out after one coat and I was I was telling you guys earlier <laughs> um, one of my nails was crooked and that was my pinky so just definitely don't make that mistake as you're installing and try to make sure that it's straight as possible. Um, this is how it looked after one coat and I lucky wish I left that one coat because I just liked the more clear look versus um, the two coats and then this is also me um, putting on the base coat for my right hand and then I cured it and then after that I installed it and then this is how it looked after two coats which wasn't bad but I preferred the one coat and in the clips coming up you will see that I decided to end up going with a design um i also wish i kind of left it like this because it just looked very clean and more natural um but i did end up doing a design because i was just experimenting and i was like oh it looks cute in the moment <laughs> it didn't turn out terrible but you know you know practice makes perfect the design i ended up doing was like a chrome french tip and i used the brand born pretty um and i'm gonna be showing you like everything that comes in the pack so it's six different chrome colors and then it comes with six um applications for each one on two sides so like 12. and the first color i'll be showing you is called mirror powder silver which is the one that i use or the one that i ended up using for my nail the second one was flash reflective powder and i believe i'm missing one because i ended up getting two of those but this one is mermaid powder uh, which i forgot to show the name but and then this one is their mirror powder gold and then the last one on the list yeah this is when i realized they gave me the same one and then the last one is the mermaid flakes I had already tested it out on one of my nails already, but I wanted to show you guys the consistency of the powder and then how you apply it on your nail. So I only did like one layer for each of my nails, I believe. And this is like the silver it came to. And then this is like my end result. After this video, I watched some more like TikToks and stuff. And then I realized different ways that I could have like made it better or smoother. So definitely stay tuned for that video. But this is my final product. And it served this job as my nails for my graduation photos. And it lasted me a good two weeks. But yeah, if you guys want to see more, please comment down below. Please let me know how you rate them, what you think. And I will have more videos for you. Um, definitely my next set will be Jellex set. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys liked it. See you guys later. Bye.